Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to monitor your network link using NetWatch. So NetWatch is a built-in utility that allows you to, to monitor and track your connections, your network connections by using ping. So what it does is it pings an IP address and based on the response or the delay in response it will execute a script that um, the user actually input. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So go to Tools, Netwatch, and I'm going to add a new new Netwatch host. So in host, I'm going to put the IP address of Google um, for Google DNS. And the reason why I'm using this is because I'm just monitoring my one link. This is a link that is connected to the internet. So I'm monitoring that connection. So whenever this address is ping, and if there's no response, then it should notify me that the link is down. Or if the response times out, which the timeout, the default timeout is one millisecond, which is the equivalent of one second. And the interval which is a default of one minute, I'm going to reduce this to 10 seconds. But usually um, it works best if you use like 30 seconds, but you shouldn't go too low because it could be a situation where the provider or the IP address that you are pinging might just block you because of constant pinging from your end. Next, we are going to go to up. And in this section, we're going to put in a script that is executed when the connection comes back online. So I'm going to put that script in here. All right, so this is a script. So what it does is in this, the first line, it log an arrow name one link is up. So it writes something in your logs to say that the link is up. And then afterwards, it send an email to the address so you would put in your email address in this field and it will send you an email address um, notifying you that the link the link is restored a link is up for for when the link is down because you won't be able to send any email at this point you could use this script to just write a log write um an entry to your log to say that the one link is down but if you are monitoring like a local network connection where you will still have internet access you could um, put in this section of the script and modif modify it a bit um, whenever the link goes down but because i'm monitoring a one connection because this ip is actually going out to the internet then i can't have and I can't send an email while the internet is down. So that's really it. Next is click OK. And now it's initially when you click OK, it will do an initial ping of the IP address. If it gets, an gets a response, it will give a status of up. So if we look in the log, in our log file, we'll see that a new log entry has been created to say that one link is up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just switch over to my email. I'm going to show you the notification that is sent. If you are not a subscriber, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And then click on the notification bell to get notified when new videos are released. Thank you for your support. So this is a notification that I would get. So I give the name of the device and and the message that that I had put into the script, which is one link is up. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simulate the link being down. So I'm just going to unplug the one connection. And then after 10 seconds or less, it should tell me. So now it tells me that the the link is down. 
and it writes it to the log to say li one link is down. If I plug it back in, it writes another entry to say the link is up. So I should be getting another email to say that the link is up. Yes, so the link is up now. Um, in the description, there's nothing in the description, just just the um, the subject. So this can give you sufficient information about what is happening with a particular link. And the reason why I put the log entry is it's easier for you to monitor track activities through your logs than email in some in some cases, especially if your link is down. You could actually see the exact time when the link goes down. So that is how you you monitor your network link using netwatch and how to also how to configure email notification when a link is restored so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching